So as you can see, this is the home page of the OCT web app. There are two options on the top right corner, one being sign up and the other being open. I'm getting the open option as I'm already logged into the site. For new users, you can just click on the get started button right here. And this is what you'll see. It's just a quick fire sign up process. You just need to enter in your email address, choose a username for yourself and a password and you're ready to go. For now, I'll just go back and click on open. So this is the whole UI of the platform. You get to see recent chats right here and you can go to the user profile settings and change your avatar or maybe add your avatar from here and also add coins to your watch list which will then pop up on this moving ticket tape on the top uh, on the bottom of the screen so we'll just go back to the general channel as you can see on the left hand side uh, we have the dm option and we have the rooms the four rooms hosted on the platform so this one this one right here is the default oct room which contains four channels right here if we click on trading uh, we see people majorly discussing about the trades and their trade setups. All rooms have been segregated on the basis of topics of discussions into various channels. Uh, so going back to general. So, so now let's jump onto some of the features, all of the, them being crypto specific features. Let's start off with crypto market analysis. Under the market analysis section, you get these three in-app features namely the market data, which shows you the current prices of the top 500 coins and tokens on the basis of the market cap. You may also sort it on the basis of the percentage changes as well as their price. You also have a search bar in the top, which lets you search for any coin you want to. For example, I'm searching for Cardano right here and I get its price, its percentage change and a line graph of the coin and I get to see the percentage change in different time intervals as well. We also get the entire history of the coin, including the current volume, all time high, all time lows, etc. Uh, all right. So the second one right here is gainers and losers. This is one of my go to features of the app. I get to see which coins are dynamically flowing on either sides. And this can be sorted on the basis of different time intervals as well. So the third feature right here is coin comparison. Uh, this feature mainly I use it whenever I'm confused in between any two coins. Like for example, we'll take Polkadot and Chainlink for an example. So after clicking on compare, I get this very cool health bar differentiation. You can compare them on the basis of their following metrics. Below it is a visual representation of the differences in the form of a hexagon and also a simple line chart. That's all we have in the market analysis section. Uh, moving on, we have the OCT analysis, which displays the in-app data. With the talk of the day is nothing but the comment with the highest upvotes in the last 24 hours. For upvoting any comment, you just need to go on the comment and just upvote it right here. So you, it'll get an upvote right here. So then you have OCT trending right here, which shows the coins with the most number of mentions in the last 24 hours. And then the OCT watch list, which shows the top coins in the majority of the watch lists. Below that, we have an in-app fear and greed index, which functions on the basis of sentiments in the rooms. So moving on to the coin data section, you can search for any coin and get information on the number of mentions and watch lists of that particular coin. So moving on, we have the trade section wherein we can add your trades and for example i'm trading on btc i'm opening trade at maybe 20 20 000, take profit at 21 uh, and my stop loss would be at 19 so that is basically i am going long on this trade so i get this btc long entry price take profit and stop loss i can post it to the room and it will get posted right here so then we have the leaderboard of the trade section. So uh, what we see here is the points on the basis of correct successful trade predictions. So that gives you a much better idea of who is performing the best uh, on the platform. Uh, 
then you have predictions right here predictions you just need to answer these four questions in order to gain credibility points we'll get to what credibility points is uh, ahead in this video so these are the credibility points earned by these people through uh, the predictions part so that is more or less about the app uh, but uh, one thing which we can check is uh, the most important thing on the platform which is credibility so you just need to click on any profile picture and you get the details about the particular user credibility points is basically a metric which shows how credible the person is on the platform so you can gain these credibility points uh, through three things mainly upvotes uh, and by successfully predicting questions and successfully uh, getting the trades correct so that is how the platform works and it is really great it's a really great platform for traders so you can also see every uh, user's last 10 trades so that's pretty transparent right so that's more or less about the platform i'll make another video on it very soon with the new upcoming features and on the left hand side you can see these three other rooms which are locked which have a lock sign on them you just need to enter the code uh, uh, and the code would be provided to you by the owner of that particular room and these are basically paid or you can call them exclusive rooms on the platform so basically it is a chat platform with uh, analytics uh, on the side you get it uh, as a, as a bonus and also you can treat it as a marketplace marketplace for people hosting their rooms so if there's a single platform that hosts plenty of rooms or communities which provides you with value in one way or the other so this is that platform so you should definitely go and check it out uh, i'll give the links in the description and uh, you can also check out the web app if you don't want to download the android or the ios app uh, the apps are available on both platforms as well so yes that's all about the platform